Welcome back everyone, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to take a look at a pair of Carmina shoes that I ordered through their recent um, uh, made to order weekend. So I'm gonna take these out of the box here, hopefully, um, and see how this works. Um, the box is the same as always. It's not a made to order weekend box like they've done in the past. Uh, my last ones were as well, but I thought I'd check and uh, as we look at these, apologies for the box hitting the floor, let's take a look at what they did. Now, I did a, uh, a special thing on these where I designed them, I've talked a little bit about it in my pipeline, where I actually have a different color tongue on the shoe, so hopefully that came through okay. And you can see this is in this beautiful bourbon shell cordovan with the green, so it's a bourbon green shell cordovan. You have the extra laces there. And I did a green sole with toe plate. Now, it's not the Carmina toe plate, which is kind of funny. But if you look carefully here, the stitching is green. And I think that's very cool. Now, the stitching on the sole is not green, but the stitching on the upper is all green. It's very subtle, mostly kind of for me, right? Uh, and people have talked to me about, you know, oh, wow, you're going to cover that up as soon as you had polish. This is shell cordovan, so I don't polish it. Um, I did a storm welt on it again, which actually I thought I did flat welt this time, but I have to go back and look. But uh, it doesn't matter. I still love the way it looks. So it's a storm welt austerity brogue, which is very different. And a new piece to my Carmina collection. So again, the green sole. This is on the Simpson last, which is a different last for the shoe, right? This is usually on the rain last, or I think this uh, it was on the Bugor last. I mean, they had a bunch of different things, and I, I really changed it up. And you can see the burgundy tongue is a very subtle, I mean, it's not very subtle in the way it looks now, but it'll have a little... You know, because I do have a little bit of a V-gap when I wear the Oxfords, it'll have a little bit of a different look, kind of looking like your tongue is staring out at you, but it's burgundy and not red. I could have done like number four or, or, or ruby, which would have been kind of silly. But I think this dark color will provide a little bit of contrast, but not too much. And, um, you know, again, something for me, not for, um, not for everybody else. Now, you know, this... It's funny, you get shadows on this stuff, but as you look at this, just really good execution. You get a little bit of a, a whoopsie there on the stitching, but nothing major. Um, here again, um, like the pinking is a little bit different. Not bad. I'm trying to be as critical as I can be, because uh, most of the stuff is stuff that I wouldn't care about, but I know some guys do. Um, here, it looks like something like when it was shipping, touched here, so there's a little bit there, but that'll all wear out. First time I'll wear them anyway. Uh, you look at the joint here. This is, uh, I know, important to a lot of guys, is how they, they close the joint when they do the welt around. That's actually very clean. I'll do the same thing on this side. Here is almost invisible. It's very clean. So, uh, as expected, Carmina, Shell Cordovan, just wonderful, very, very good looking. And like my other bourbon Shell Cordovan shoes, you can see that there's some variety in the pieces, right? So you see the difference in color on the counters and on the, uh, on, the, on the part with the facing, but it's not a bad difference in color. And that difference in color in the different pieces of Shell Cordovan is part of what I like. So that is never a problem for me. Uh, it's definitely uh, something that uh, I'm just a, a fan of in general. So, um, now you know, I've talked about this before with other brands. The screws are not flush. So that's the first time I've ever had anything from Carmina where it was not perfect. Um, but they, they're they not. It's like somebody didn't uh, drill them in at the right angle or something. Again, is that a problem? No, because you're going to wear them and they're going to grind down and be even with the floor. So not a big deal. But again, I know a lot of guys are very, very concerned, especially spending this kind of money um, for a pair of shoes that they want to make sure that they're absolutely perfect. Uh, together with trees, this was around um, 
I think it was about 900 bucks. So, I mean, it was not uh, inexpensive at all. But uh, very happy with the way they turned out. Thank you so much for watching. That is the unboxing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.